Well, my client's documents are some of the documents that were seized in connection with the search warrants, number one. And number two, we're here to ensure that this process is as public and as open as possible. Justice Louis Brandeis said that sunlight is the best disinfectant, and that's what this case, or at least our case, is about. And we're here to ensure that the American people have as much access to documents and information concerning this critical investigation as possible. That's appropriate under any circumstances. We're also here to support the efforts of the U.S. Attorney's Office from the Southern District of, of New York to ensure that this privilege review is conducted in a fair and equitable manner that, above all else, maintains integrity of these documents. What do you think the fact that While it is somewhat unusual for an attorney's offices or a home to be raided by the FBI, it's not unheard of um, in the United States. Attorneys are prosecuted on a somewhat regular basis, just like any other citizens. While they're entitled to certain protections, they're not entitled to absolute protection. The President of the United States is no different than any other American citizen as it relates to his privilege. He should have no greater rights and, and, uh, or no less rights. Well, I think there's no question that there's documentation in those records concerning the negotiation uh, with my client, perhaps communications with the President relating to the payoff. There could be a whole host of documents relating to that agreement, the payment, what the President knew and when he knew it. And we're going to uh, hopefully find out exactly what's in the documents. Thank you.